interrupt. Start over. You're going to sue Michael Cohen. Now, that's big news. Yeah, Please I'm tell us. For defamation. And then the question that if he takes the witness stand, he'll be asked, you say you started telling the truth, but you just lied about Alan Dershowitz. You know he wasn't on Epstein's Island. You know he's never had sex with an underage girl. You just got mad at him because he called you a liar. So you made up a story about him. So you're still lying, right? How is he going to get around that? In the wake of Donald Trump finally being indicted, well, Alan Dershowitz couldn't help but make himself the center of attention. The former Trump attorney announced that he's going to be suing Trump's other former attorney, Michael Cohen. And somehow, Dershowitz thinks this is going to exonerate Donald Trump. Welcome into TYT's Overruled. I'm your legal analyst, Adrian Lawrence. On Friday's Alex Jones show, Harvard Law professor and former Trump attorney Alan Dershowitz announced that he will be suing Michael Cohen. That is the former Trump attorney and fixer who will certainly be at the center of the former president's impending indictment. Dershowitz argues that Cohen defamed him by posting this tweet on Thursday. Says the guy who spent time with Jeffrey Epstein on Underage Sex Island, Alan Dershowitz, like Rudy Colludi, has become a complete joke representing a bigger joke. Cohen made the comment above Dershowitz's Newsmax appearance, which basically involved Dershowitz telling audiences that Cohen never told the truth. Well, as you may have caught on in the opening, Dershowitz thinks that his defamation lawsuit could benefit Trump when Cohen is on the stand. And I would normally not sue somebody for writing that kind of nonsense, but this is Michael Cohen, who's about to try to prevent Donald Trump from running for president of the United States. And I'm going to sue him for defamation, not let him get away with that. And when I sue him, I will be able to prove his repeated lies because he can't refuse to testify in a civil case. So his problems are just beginning. I'm going to make it a little easier for Joe Tacopito to, ta to, to uh, uh, cross-examine him. Although, as I've said before, any first-year student could win this case if the name wasn't Donald Trump and if it wasn't in Manhattan. I don't know that Dershowitz has thought this one through. Either way, after the law professor announced that he would be suing Cohen, well, apparently Cohen reached out to Dershowitz via email. Well, let me read you the email he just sent to me, uh, Alan. As you know from our conversation on my podcast, I have and has always had had tremendous respect and admiration for you as a constitutional lawyer and scholar. If you were angered at my tweet, why not just have called me and expressed that to me. I am happy to remove the tweet. I am happy to remove the tweet. But similarly, I ask that you treat me with the same respect that I treat you. Feel free to call me at any time. Well, he's willing to remove the tweet. That's not enough. You know, when, when you throw a skunk into the jury room, you can take the skunk out, but the smell still remains. He accused me of associating with a pedophile on an island with young people. It's just a total and complete and categorical lie. Foremost, taking Dershowitz's iteration of Cohen's email at face value, it was very professional and mature for Cohen to reach out to offer to remove the tweet uh, because Cohen really didn't have to. Dershowitz doesn't seem to have any grounds for defamation here based on that tweet. As we know, truth is an absolute defense. Look at the tweet says the guy who spent time with Jeffrey Epstein on Underage Sex Island. Alan Dershowitz, like Rudy Colludi, has become a complete joke representing a bigger joke. If I recall correctly, Dershowitz admitted to spending time with Epstein and possibly on his island. And that tweet doesn't say that Dershowitz had sex with any underage girls, nor would I say that that was the implication. And as far as I'm concerned, Dershowitz is essentially a hit dog hollering right now. Also, saying that he's a joke and Rudy Colludi, those are just hyperbole, not even near a statement of fact. Both truth and hyperbole cannot be grounds for defamation. All said, Dershowitz likely has no case against Cohen, and both attorneys know better. Which is why, you know, I, my hat is off to Cohen for reaching out and trying to resolve the matter. But, of course, you know, the tweet is still up there. <laughs> I think it's going to be interesting to see how Dershowitz continues to keep up his support for Trump, knowing that all the attorneys who supported Trump, uh, well, I'd say the vast majority have seemed to have lost their licenses. And I would like to think Dershowitz wants to keep his, but hmm, maybe that's just me. You let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit that like and follow button. And thanks for watching.